Hello family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and today I'm at the Hancock Homestead and you guys are getting like a bonus video because <laughs> as I was doing my day in the life um, I started kind of rambling on some topics and I thought that uh, I would just include those into a separate video called Kim's Ramblings. <laughs> Y'all may be getting a few of my ramblings through this winter to help me get through. Anyway, um, if you like hearing my ramblings, then continue watching the video. And if you don't, then thank you for tuning in and continue watching my channel because it won't always be ramblings. Sometimes I do have good information to share. So anyway, here you go. My head is still hurting, but John, you know, with his cracked ribs, he just can't do that yet. Plus, I would not want him to chance falling again. Of course, I don't want to chance me falling either, but, but I'm a little bit better shape than he is at the moment. So, anyway, and I was telling you guys about all the beautiful afghans my mother crocheted. This is one of them. You see me bundled up in it quite often. Whenever I have one of my mom's afghans around me, it's like she's giving me a daily hug. That's what I think about. She's in heaven now, but her afghans are still here hugging me. Because, I, you know, when you think about it, each one of these little stitches, you know, had her fingers on it, had her hands on it, you know, so it's like she's touching me still. So, um... That brings me to my afghan, which I had told you guys I've been working on. And you're probably saying, well, she's no further along than she was before. Well, friends, that's because all of this yellow that you're seeing, I ripped out and redid. Remember when I was doing my Sunday rambling and I kept telling you guys, something's not right here. You know, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing wrong? Well, I didn't have my mother here to tell me or my sister, so I went on YouTube. YouTube is so good for so many things. Yes, I know they can be frustrating at times, but, I mean, they're just so good. you got to give it credit for what the platform is meant to be, and that is sharing ideas. So, anyway... I went on YouTube and I looked up how to single crochet <laughs> and I figured out what my mistake was. I don't know why, but I was only wanting to go through one hoop instead of both of them. You know, instead of going under both of them, I was only wanting to go through the back one. And that's what was making me all off because I was like, I know I was doing this faster and I know that this was laying more even <laughs> I was like what is it and so then as whenever I figured out what it was I was doing wrong I just said you know what I'm just gonna start all the yellows over because I'm pretty sure it was just the yellows where I had made my mistake the rest of them look fine so yes so I ripped out all the yellows and I have started over and I am about to the point where I was when I left when I last oh so I'm about to the point where I was at when I last left you. So, you know, and I should just tell you guys this too. I had a stuttering problem as a child. I even had to go to speech therapy when I was in school. So oftentimes I will stutter over words. And my biggest thing, even to this day, is I have a bad tendency of leaving off the endings. Like instead of saying last, I will say last. You know, instead of last week, it will be last week. And I am still working on my speech. But uh, it's come a long ways from where I was at. So, <laughs> And just, you know, try to forgive me for that. I am working on it. That's also where a lot of my anxiety roots from. Um, is as a child uh, being picked on because of my speech and you know and I've 
I have come, I have overcome that to a certain point, but it, you know, those little things still stick with you once in a while. So anyway, uh, on to the good news. The good news is I know what I'm doing wrong and I fixed it and now I'm doing it the right way. And this is probably what I will be working on most of today because my head hurts. So I doubt I'll be doing too much puzzle. And um, a lot of times if I have a headache, I can't even read because the words are all floaty and everything. But my crocheting, I can kind of do it without looking, except when it comes to counting the stitches. So we'll just see. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I'm going to try to get further along on it. Okay. But... These are the magazines I am looking at at the moment. I'm looking at my Burgess to see all the flowers. I don't order a whole lot of flowers um, because I we have a really good um, nursery uh, over in Quincy, Illinois. In fact, we have two really good nurseries over in Quincy, Illinois. And so I would rather go into a nursery and look at the plants and buy the plants knowing what they look like and plus in a nursery you can oftentimes get a bigger size than what you can when you order them but I still like to look and dream you know and there is one plant that we have to order the tomato berries we order so and I've always had pretty good luck with them now last year our first set died and I was really disappointed and I wrote the company and they sent me all new sets you know, so you you cannot pass that up. And of course, nowadays, where you can email the companies, I mean, it's just really fast turnaround. And then I have my Murray McMurray, and I'm looking at maybe new chicks, maybe new ducks. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to dream. And then my brother got me a subscription to Birds and Blooms, and this is the one that he included in my present so I've been looking through it. I've already read it actually. I've read it cover to cover back when I felt better and now I just kind of look at the pictures. So yeah I might try to look at magazines today if, if I don't have to do a lot of reading I can just look at the pictures. So um, and then I've been catching up on some YouTube um, and right now you know while I'm talking about YouTube I want to give a couple of shout outs um, first, I'm going to give out a shout out to 50 Shades of Green, Simon, over at 50 Shades of Green. Simon has um, an eating disorder, which over the years has caused him to put on quite a bit of weight, which limits his mobility. And because of that, he also suffers anxiety and he's agoraphobic, much like myself. And agoraphobic means that you stay in your safe zone, which for most people is their home. And for Simon and I, we can venture into our backyards, but we don't like being in public. So, I don't know how many years ago it's been, but you can check out Simon's channel to find out. But Simon started a YouTube channel and a garden because he wanted to address his eating disorder um, through social media, kind of give out support, maybe get some support. And then also through his gardening, he wanted to start eating better. He wanted to grow his own fresh vegetables and his own fresh fruits so that he could learn to eat better. And uh, so he's doing really well. And he has a helper. His helper is Adam. So Adam helps him with the um, heavy lifting and stuff. But, but Simon does try to get out and move around his garden himself when possible. And uh, he does try to do his own videotaping when possible. Sometimes he has Adam do it because he wants to put out consistent video. And just like myself, some days he just does not feel like doing it, but he wants to be there for his followers, so he has Adam do it. 
But Simon is around 800 subscribers, and one of his goals this year was to reach a thousand. And so I would like for you guys, if you're a subscriber of mine, I would like for you all to just go over to Simon's channel and check it out. And I will try to remember to leave a link to his channel in my description box. I'm not very good at those card things. Um, but I will try to leave a link in the description box so that you can go down, look for it, and then hit it. And so go check out Simon's channel and see if it might be something you would enjoy seeing. Simon is in the UK and over in the UK they do uh, backyard gardens and they do allotments and um, so he doesn't have as much property as we do here on our homestead but he really takes advantage of the space he does have and uh, uses it to its fullest extent so go check out Simon at 50 shades of green okay and then the other shout out I want to give is to Bobblehead Homestead and uh, most of you probably know Bobblehead Homestead but if you don't you need to go down and visit Jeff Jeff uh, a year ago well it's been about a year and a half now bought uh, five acres of land no I take that back he bought three acres of land for five thousand dollars and uh, he is really transforming it and the reason he was able to get that acreage for such a low low amount is because it was trashed the previous owners had trashed this property and uh, Jeff bought this property and he has gone in with a positive attitude and you know a mindset that he's got things he wants to get done and he's going to do them and uh, he has tra started transforming that property now he has had help from other youtubers that have gone over and helped him physically and then other youtubers that have um, supported him through patreon you know and sent him gifts but if it hadn't have been for Jeff and his positive attitude I'm sure these other youtubers you know would not have felt like stepping up so you have to give him credit for that part so those are my shout outs today Simon at 50 shades of green and Jeff at bobblehead homestead um, Jeff gave me a shout out and I was so surprised and I was so happy uh, to, to realize that he had been seeing my comments and um, and so you know I just I you know first I he's worthy of a shout out but then I just also wanted to give him that shout out back and say thanks Jeff so um, yeah so today I'm just gonna be doing light things all right we'll see what happens lay down you lay down. I can't crochet if you're if you're in my way, so you gotta lay down. So I was gonna share with you guys that. I, did that limb scare you too, huh? <laughs> As I was sitting here crocheting, this huge I heard this like explosive sound and cracking and one of our neighbor's trees and this is down the road mind you fell I'm sitting here I'm looking out the well I hear the sound I look out the window and this huge limb not like the limbs I showed you off our trees I mean a huge limb fell off right into the middle of the road and I'm just like, I'm so glad there wasn't a car going by at that time. Of course, we don't get much traffic, but I don't know how cars are going to get around that limb. <laughs> it's big. This is a dangerous situation we're in right now. I know down where my brother lives, he lives in southern Missouri. He said that they had ice storm warnings flood warnings and tornado warnings all within like a three just a three county radius there it's crazy weather but it is winter here in Missouri so that's what we expect isn't it it's warm yeah 
This is the nice thing I enjoy about winter though, is just sitting around watching the wild birds, although I'm not watching them today because my bird feeders were knocked off the pole and they don't have any bird food out there. And I don't feel like trudging out there to do that. I, my head just hurts too bad today. Anywho, <laughs> sidetracked there. Um, See, so I don't even know where I was at. What was I talking about? Oh, the joys of winter is sitting around watching the wild birds come in to feed because you get a lot more of them in the winter time. Having squirm on my lap, crocheting, yeah, just this laid back feeling that you kind of get in winter. The downtime when you take it easy. Yes. I was going to share with y'all too that I was talking about my seasonal affective disorder the other day and how I use a light box to combat it. And I had um, one of my subscribers mention that where they're from. I think it was, I think she's from Michigan. That they live on vitamin D3 up there. <laughs> and I was going to say, yeah, we, I do down here too. Um, I did not share that the other day, but I do. And my doctor has me on a um, 10,000 IUs prescriptions uh, level. So these are 5,000 IUs. So I have to take two of these a day. And ever since he has put me on these vitamin D3s, I still have a tendency to get sad in the winter, but I don't get to the depression that I used to get. And I used to get really, really tired all the time. And I don't get near as tired as I used to. So if you if you are getting super tired and to the point of fatigue, exhaustion, where you can't even hardly move, and you're having mood swings, and especially like the depression. And there's other things that it helps, but I don't remember them all. But you might want to talk to your doctor about doing a vitamin D level. And because uh, my doctor did one, and it really made a difference since he's put me on increased vitamin D. We get vitamin D from the sun. But like my doctor said, a lot of people aren't outside, outdoors, as much as they used to be, you know, back in the pioneer days. You know, a lot of people work indoors now or stay indoors because we have air conditioning, you know, in the summer. And so he said, you know, most people don't get enough vitamin D anymore. And... Uh, so he did a vitamin D level, and sure enough, mine was almost like non-existent. And uh, he said he'd never seen a vitamin D level that low before. <laughs> so he put me on prescription strength. This was like a year ago. And I was on prescription strength. I can't remember. I think it might have been 15,000. Um, and then after six weeks, when I went back in and did another level, it had gone up. So then he lowered it down just a little bit to 10,000. And he said 10,000 is really what someone my, in my situation needs. You know, it might vary according to your situation, but um, ever since I started these D3s, it has really made a difference in my energy level. And like I said, I still get somewhat sad. I'm not really sure if it's sad. It's more like unmotivated. I don't know, maybe a lot of people get unmotivated in the winter, but um, it helps. You know, it really does help where you're not so depressed. Now, Squirm, why didn't you tell me I was doing this crocheting wrong? Huh? Why didn't you help me out? Because you've been here the whole time. You were there the whole time. You could have said, look, you're doing that wrong. And then, yeah, and then I would not have had to rip out so many stitches. But, hey, I'm finally caught up where I'm at, and it was looking good. I'm happy with it. Yes. So, yes. All right. Are you going to go to sleep, huh?
you know, pretty soon you're going to have to go retire to the bedroom so that I can give Spice some loving. Don't you think Spice needs some loving too? Yeah, it would be nice if you two would get along. But you don't. <laughs> two females in the same house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus they weren't raised together. This is actually my daughter's cat. I think I've told you guys that before. And then Spice is like my cat. But Spice was born an outside cat. Well, she was actually born in the basement. Her mommy had her in the basement. But she started out kind of as an outside cat, and then I would bring her in. And so now she does both. Spice will do both. In fact, it's, sometimes Spice will actually get bored in the house and go scratch at the door and want out. But Squirm, yeah, she's a... Uh, She's been a spoiled baby <laughs> her whole life. Yes, you have. And I, I say she's my daughter's cat, but actually she's more like my son-in-law's cat. It's their cat, but my son-in-law, big old tough guy, construction worker, <laughs> he loves cats. So he's the one that taught Squirm how to fetch. Yes. She fetches ponytails. I think I've shown you guys that before, too. Yes. Uh, I don't know how much of my rambling you guys are going to enjoy today, but I enjoy talking to you. Yes, I think you guys help cheer me up, too. You do. All my friends out there, like Simon. Remember, go visit Simon. He's such a nice guy. I've never met him in person. I've only talked to him through YouTube, but he he seems like he would be a really sweet guy to just sit down and have a cup of tea <laughs> over in the Ukraine. They drink their tea. Of course, a lot of us here in America do too. We, we have a tendency more towards coffee, I think, but I enjoy tea. I enjoy my tea with lemon and honey. I usually have coffee in the morning for breakfast, usually, unless I'm sick. If I'm sick, I will do my tea. But, and then I have my tea in the afternoon. Afternoon tea. And then for the rest of the day. I just do coffee in the morning. Yes. And that's because John enjoys coffee. He doesn't enjoy hot tea. He enjoys cold tea, but not hot tea. So, um, we always have to have coffee for breakfast because that's what he enjoys. And then in the afternoons, he likes to drink cold tea and I can take the tea that we've made and just heat it up and uh, have my hot tea. Sometimes I'll use the individual tea bags if we don't have tea made, but usually I'll just heat up the tea we've already made to drink as cold tea. I'll just put some in a cup and heat it up. So. But I like different flavored teas, too. Which is funny, because I don't like different flavored sodas. Well, first of all, I don't drink much soda. I really don't. Um, but, like, if I'm having soda with a pizza, which is usually about the only time I drink soda, is if we're having pizza. <laughs> or it's a party somehow with chips, you know. Um, but I don't like, like, if I'm going to drink Coke, I want just plain Coke. If I'm going to drink Pepsi, I want plain Pepsi. And actually, I don't even drink Coke and Pepsi. I drink Dr. Pepper. So I don't even know why I'm using Coke and Pepsi as an example. But, like, if I'm going to drink Dr. Pepper, I like just plain Dr. Pepper. Not the cherry or, you know, the other flavors that they have. I mean, it's fine if you do, but that's just me. All right. Squirm says she's tired of listening to my chatting my rambling so maybe you guys are too talk to you guys later okay friends well if you enjoyed my rambling uh please remember to like share and subscribe although if you share you might want to share one of my videos that actually makes sense you know <laughs> anyway thanks for being with me today and i'll talk to you later bye for now